Well, here we go. Moment of truth time. Got some spray can primer. And I'm going to spray can prime the whole thing. and everything else in the room that's close to it. That's how we roll here. All right, that looks spray can primed. Love it. Hang that up. I'd love to get my uh, air hose out and blow this off. But that would be so counterproductive right now. So that. That's good. Hedge our bet a little bit like that. Part of the shaft goes inside of the uh, tube on the base. So I'm just going to pick a random line and we'll stop there. And I'm going to do myself a little bit of a favor and bend this over so I'll have a tab to grab when the time comes. All right. This is so easy. I wish it was more satisfying, but I'm holding my breath through the whole of it. Am I going to get this right? Some seat backs next. These don't totally show, but there are some little surprising bits and pieces that show up. The inside of this shows for a bit, so I'm going to spray all the sides. All right. You know, I'm not thinking about leaving it gray, but but that's not awful. Pretty good. A couple more to go. All right. So this is the front plate of the desk. It's got the logo on it, which I'm going to not obliterate, but it'll be close. Anyway, uh, even coats. Not awful for primer, I guess. String it up. I guess I could do it from here. And get the inside. Drip. Well, that's what happens. That's going to have to get sanded off. Oh. Can't believe I got a drip on that. All right. Next, a couple of novelties. The little heads of the bolts. These two little desk support strips, which I think are clever as clever. by allowing the wooden top to be unattached in this area, only attached at the root. They got the support because of the dovetail and the metal, but they didn't uh, put screws into the wooden top uh, so that it, it didn't crack when it seasonally changed shape. What a great idea. Clever, clever. Anyway, these only show these only only show on the very top. They don't even show on the dovetail, so it's going to be a quick pass on those. 
bing, bing. Edge of that, edge of that, a little bit. And then the heads of these, uh, I'll probably do the whole damn thing. Anyway, um, and then all will be left is the big bin, and that'll go as it's going to go. the reach. There you go. Got that. These I'm just gonna okay. good enough. Primer on bolts. Alright, bins next. And uh, that'll be today. Everything primed. Everything double coated. Everything primed. I'm on schedule. This is great. Here we go on the bin. Done the bottom edges a minute or two ago. It's already dry. Get the sides. It's not awful. It's really not awful. Yeah, really not awful. Nothing to the spray can business. Loving it. But we'll see how that looks tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot the base, the tubular base. I can't get to that. I won't get into how this is the most important part, and I can't believe that I forgot it, but I can't believe I forgot this. Oh. So here we go. I'm going to do the underside of this first. Don't have to do the bottoms of the feet. Um, so if I do get everything on the underside and flip it over onto his feet, I should be there. Better. Well, that's the underside. I didn't get much on the back. Keep watching in case I miss this spot. Hard to reach. I think I'm gonna. Uh, no. no. I'm just gonna do the big reach here. Pardon me. in here is going to have to come up with a better way of holding this thing when I go to put the finish paint on because I don't want to have to do that reach around and risk, you know, the dreaded runs. I mean, we've all had the runs. Okay, this is when I don't know how to stop. Just still paint the can. Well, all right, call that done. There is still paint in the can. A little touch up on the bin. Clearly what you're dealing with here is someone that doesn't know how to stop. It seems to improve it. Okay. 
Done, 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 done. Everything's hung up. Tongue oiled, spray painted. Ooh, getting close. Getting close. There's still the heads and the screws. I think I'm going to do another trick with those. You'll see later on. Otherwise, here we are. We got to here. We can all do better. Well, that coat of tongue oil is dried really, really well and flat, which makes sense because it was just put on with a rag. So I'm going to just make sure that I pull any, any specks off. Do it, you know, an imaginary amount of evening, and then uh, get ready to wipe another coat on. I'll probably sand all the pieces, and then uh, oil them all in sequence. So. 320 sandpaper, almost no pressure. Great, great. So I'm going to go through the pieces, uh, the splats I don't have to do because I've already got two coats on them. Two coats is enough, I think. We'll certainly see. Like that. So I'll get the others through and then we'll oil them up and things will be good. Here's a little seat. So we'll do the same thing, rub, hit the edges. And a little bit of rounding on the, the arras. over in the front. Nice shape. Nice shape. Chair seats. You know, they're a study. Right. That is smooth, smooth, smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. It'll be nice. So that's the repertoire for um, pieces uh, that need sanding. Uh, and get some oil out, dust these things off, and uh, mop the second coat of oil on this. It'll be nice. Here we go. Ragging another coat on, using a previously used rag. It's a little stiff in places, but we're not going to care. It's going to do fine. Tried to bear down more and use less. And that's how that goes. As I'm going to be really happy. It's the top. Desk lid. Rag is not handling well, but I don't care. 
not trying to accomplish much. Get the edges. And that's nice. That's nice. It just feels good. It's like effortless. Just smooths right out. That is so, so smooth. I hope you're as happy as I am. Loving it. This is the bottom of the bin. Well, I mean, I guess it, 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 I, mean, I won't say it compares in abuse in when it was used. It doesn't really compare to the writing surface of the desktop, but through neglect, it was pretty bad inside here. This is the best this has looked in a long time. You can tell when you're done rubbing because it starts to uh, pull a little bit. You can sense it's not gliding the way that does. You can start to feel a little bit of drag. And that's your last chance to go over it. I guess you can wet it again and improve your drag. But this right here is going pretty well to about here. And then it's really starting to move. This is a little bit easier. So that's done. And this will be shortly. Ah, oh, pencil tray. And then that part's done. It'd be great. Mm -hmm. Pencil tray, you know, the desktop pencil tray. Didn't get it very clean. This is sort of a funny mix of yeah, yeah, all the surfaces are new but the thing still shows the signs of wear and age underneath. I guess that makes it a restoration where you don't change anything. Comparatively I think I used more oil on this than anything else so far. It's got a good dip on the rag so I'm going to stay with it for a second or two and Make sure I don't have any puddles. All right, good enough. What's left? Uh, not much. The actual pencil holder inside this, the bin, I guess, this net. I quickly mopped the coat on this. This didn't come out all that well. No one will ever see it. Just, it's my disappointment in this piece. It's gotta be one in everything. Anyway, all the wood's done. We'll move on to the metal. Well, I've been sanding along with 400 grit paper, which is my go-to for metal finishes. And uh, the majority of the stuff came out really, really well. Uh, no globs or rough spots or hardly anything. I just went over everything pretty lightly. Well, this actually is going pretty lightly also, but it's a little bit, you can feel it, different between that and that. It's uh, a little bit pokey in a couple of spots where the guy that was doing the priming uh, re-sprayed some of the areas because he can't help it. But also there's, there's uh, uh, original paint underneath in some spots and, and it, it clearly the primer stuck and behaved differently on top of the existing paint than it does on the bare metal. I mean, that only makes sense. That's sort of why we do that, to hopefully take care of all of those irregularities so that when we put the next coat on, it all behaves the same. That's the good thing. Anyway, this is going to take about that much time to go over. Uh, and I'll, I'll try to visit every spot and get every little nook and cranny. But all I'm doing is just wiping this across the surface. This paper's a little played out. Um, anyway, uh, just going right along. This is the last piece of metal. Um, the base and the front panel. Boy, I, the guy that primed those, I'd hire him again, you know. I did really well. I'm very pleased. I didn't know it would come out that well. 
So there, all of you skeptics. Anyway, I'm going to go across this, get all the surfaces, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. base and And like that. Good, good, good. Pull that one out. This is almost like watching paint dry, right? I'm not going to get through it with this can.
little insufficiency along that edge there. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, I may come back and touch up or two, but it looks pretty good. A nice sheen, no runs, which surprises me too. I'm going to stop using this can and move on to the next one because I've got the bin to do. I'm cranking right through it though. 